hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and I post new videos every Tuesday talking about random things. Today we're going to be talking about five shows that I think were canceled way too soon. I think about them literally all the time. The first show that was canceled too soon was called Life Unexpected. It got two seasons and it ran from 2010 to 2011 on the CW. You can still watch it on Amazon Prime if you have Prime Video. Life Unexpected is about this girl who it has been in the foster care system. She reunites with her parents um, in order to get them to sign a form so she could be emancipated, but instead she ends up be kind of being adopted by them, and it's just a really sweet story. First thing I loved about the show was the cast. It was Britt Robertson, Sherry Appleby, Christopher Palala, Austin Butler, and what's really cool is the cast is still super close in real life. They go on like group camping trips with all their families. It's so sweet. I really just loved the overall themes of this show like it really talked about family i just loved it like the storylines were so good the characters were great my only regret is once they knew it was ending after season two it kind of had a rushed ending and i think if they had more seasons it could have had more of a a sense of closure but i did love the ending and i highly recommend watching it to anyone who hasn't the second show that i literally loved like this might be one of my all-time favorite shows and there's only one season it was also on the cw it is called Starcrossed, and it was from 2014 to literally just 2014. I love this show. It used to be on Netflix. I know you can still buy it on Apple TV if you're interested in watching. Let's just talk about the cast first. It was Matt Lanter from 90210. It was Gray Damon from Station 19 and Greg Finley from Secret Life of the American Teenager. And it's like about these aliens who... They're living on Earth, but they're kind of being like discriminated against, and there's just a lot of really good themes, and the love story is just beautiful. I signed so many petitions to try to get this show picked back up, and it was like a big cause on the internet. Like, so many people were up in arms trying to get this show brought back, but it just, it wasn't. If you watch Roswell, New Mexico, it kind of gives me a similar vibe. The third show that was canceled too soon, I think many of you have probably watched it, it was called The Society. It came out in 2019 on Netflix, we only got one season, it was renewed for season two, and then days before they were due to start filming, they canceled it. And to be honest with you, I still have hope that they're going to be able to be picked up by some other network, but that hasn't happened yet. The Society is about this group of kids, they go on a field trip, and when they come home, no one's home. No one's home. And then they find out that there don't seem there doesn't seem to be anyone and they they have to try to figure out what happened they have to figure out like a way to survive and govern themselves it's really really interesting the thing that really sucks about this show being canceled in the first season is it's kind of a mystery show so we don't know how these kids got into this alternate universe or like what's going on so just not knowing is really hard i also really wanted to see a redemption arc for harry and I wanted to see Grizz and Sam find their way back to each other, so it's really hard, this show being off the air. The fourth show that I think was canceled too soon is The Lion Game. This show was on ABC Family, now Freeform. It ran from 2011 to 2012. There were two seasons, and you can watch it on the CW Seed, even if you don't have cable, which is, I've been watching it on the CW Seed, and it's so good, you guys. I love it. And it's bringing me back to high school. I remember I'd watch it Tuesday night. I'd go to school, and me and all my friends, we talk about it. The Lion Game is about these tw girls. They find out that they're twins. They decide to switch lives, and then a bunch of crazy stuff happens. It's very dramatic. Again, kind of like The Society, this show kind of had like a mysterious element. There were a lot of mysteries, so it being canceled really sucks. But at the end of the day, I think it was because it's by the same writer as Pretty Little Liars, and a lot of people felt more loyal to Pretty Little Liars, and that's how The Lion Game just didn't make it. But man, it was a good show. And running up the list on number five, we have Nordinary Family. We got one season of this on ABC from 2010 to 2011, and it's still available on abc.com if you have cable and you can log in with your provider. But I also own it on DVD. My family, we loved this show. It was so good. It's basically about this family who gets superpowers and they have to kind of navigate that and figure out how to emerge their old lives and their new lives. It was so good. It had Kay Panabaker in it, hello, and then it had Romani Malco from A Million Little Things amazing and then it had Josh Stewart from Criminal Minds <laughs> the show was so good honestly the show was so good and it kind of scared me at the time because I was like a kid but 
It's just such a good show. Highly recommend. An honorable mention for my list is Stitchers, which was on ABC Family, I think also around 2010, 2012. And I think it got like two or three seasons, but this show was so good and it was just getting like amazing and then it was canceled. So that will always be upsetting to me, but I did love that show. So I do want to mention it. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I do new videos every Tuesday. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It means a lot to me and I will see you on Tuesday. As always, thank you so much. Has this been in the screen the whole time? Hopefully not. Okay. Please like, comment, just...